Hello and welcome. This video is going to be a short little bins haul that I went a couple weeks ago. I am sick. I don't have COVID. I don't have the flu. I don't have strep. I have no idea what's wrong with me. But we're just going to continue to sound like this. I decided since I feel like death to go full, full goth with the makeup here. So hopefully you guys like it. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this pair of Nike shorts. It's just a little tiny pair of black running shorts. They are lined. They are size small. I really like picking up the big name brand uh, athletic clothing, especially, you know, this time of year because, you know, New Year's. New Year's resolutions are a thing for some reason. I mean, I feel like if you want to make a change, waiting like two months to make it happen seems kind of weird. Just like do it now. It doesn't need a, a set day. But that's my personal opinion. So I pick up stuff like Nike and Under Armour and Adidas at the bins, especially since, you know, this is this is so lightweight. It was probably like 50 cents. Uh, I mean, I'm only gonna sell this for like 10 bucks or so, but it's still, still a nice and easy pickup. Also, almost everything that you're gonna see in this haul is stuff that another reseller threw back. Uh, that's one of the things that I like to do. I am not someone who wants other people in my personal space. So I will pick up someone's leftovers. I will pick up what they put down. Uh, and I've actually found some really good stuff uh, that way. You know, that Kate Spade lemon dress that I picked up and stain treated, uh, I sold it for $135. So I'd rather not fight for, for stuff and just uh, pick up other people's discards. And that has worked out really well for me. So maybe if you're not one of those confrontational people, uh, maybe you can do that as well. I normally have a mirror right here and sometimes it messes with my lighting and sometimes it doesn't. But this is a Bowden piece. I like to buy and sell Bowden. This is a UK size 6, US size 2, so it's an extra small. Beautiful fit and flare blue dress. It is lined and this is what was uh, horribly pilled, but I fixed it so now it's beautiful. Uh, it's a modal blend. It does have a nice little side zip. If this was my size, I would keep this because this thing is so stinking cute. Uh, I put it on Karen and it, and it's just a beautiful dress. So uh, whenever I list Bowdoin from now on, I'm listing the UK and the US size because some people get confused because uh, Bowdoin is like a UK brand. But I do like picking up Bowdoin and especially like a dress like that where I'm paying $2 for it. Yeah, I'm going to pick that up. I really rarely pick up Forever 21, uh, but I actually picked up two pieces uh, at the bins, and that is because this first piece, this is a dress, it's a 3XL, it's a linen blend, you guys know I love picking up linen stuff, and it's new with tags, so it's not like super expensive, the dress is new, this is Forever 21 Plus because it's a 3X, it's like $24, $25, I don't know, so I only put it up for 15 but it has pockets and we love pockets. So, you know, new with tags, we are coming up on, well, we are in quarter four. What am I talking about? That's how with it I am right now. We're in quarter four, so new with tags I'm wanting to pick up, which is why I also picked up this piece. This is uh, W5. If this was my size, I would have uh, kept it, but this is a size large. Uh, this is actually still up for sale on w5clothing.com. Uh, for $38, but Marshalls had it new a tag for $16.99. I just left the tag on it and I put it up for $14 whatever. But it's, it's definitely the perfect cover. This is a Swiss dot. So instead of it just being polka dot, it has like, it's kind of raised in 3D and that's called Swiss dot, just if you wanted to know. It's also ruched at the side, which is you got this drawstring down here and then it kind of makes it come up a little bit. Very cute top. If this was my size, I would totally keep it. I'm normally like a size sm medium in W5. It just depends on the cut. So it's a little bit too big for me. But again, another new with tag piece. Uh, definitely gonna pick that up at the bins. This I looked up before I picked it up, even though it's, you know, super lightweight. Weight. This is uh, just a little tank top. And I looked at it and I was like, that looks cool. What is that? Uh, this is apparently a folk music band. Trumpled, trumpled, <sighs> trampled by turtles. I tried to put trampled and turtles together and came up with trumpled. But this is trampled by turtles. Uh, this is a folk band. 
there is legitimately zero comps for this on eBay. And I still picked it up because it's less than a dollar. Uh, and also because of the fact there's no comps and nothing for sale, I will have literally the only women's piece of merch from this band. So I decided, you know, whatever. It's less than a dollar. I'll try it out. But that's a women's XL. But it is like an athletic fit. So it's a little, it's a little slim. Uh, this is Everly. Everly is a, a, a Los Angeles based brand. They were carried briefly by Anthropology like a while ago, but they're no longer carried by Anthropology. The sell through is not that great, but again, uh, this is just something that's super lightweight. This is a polyester shrug. It's a kimono shrug. It's very cute. Like this would be more of a springtime piece. That's just something to throw over you. Like if you have a cute little like dress on and it's a little chilly in the office. This is like something super cute to wear. Like this would actually look really good with that Bowdoin dress. It's just a nice little piece to keep you warm uh, or keep you modest. Some people don't like showing off their arms. So this is a great way to cover those up and still be uh, extra cute. This is something I tr I'm gonna try. I have never tried uh, reselling Bullhead. This is a brand that's, I think, sold at like PacSun or something like that. Those kind of like surf skate shops. But it's a pearl snap with these like little bandana embellishments. So I thought that this would be cute to try. This is a fitted slim. So this is like definitely mid-aughts style. It's a size large and it does say slim fit on it. But uh, you guys know how much I love my pearl snaps. So I figured I'd give it a try. And this is the other Forever 21 piece. So there was a very famous artist called Alphonse um, Mucha or Muka. I don't know, but they make they they were made beautiful Art Deco prints for advertisements uh, in the teens, twenties, and thirties. And they did uh, apparently a collaboration with Forever 21. So this is the other Forever 21 piece. And this is an XL, and it's got these uh, puff sleeves that are see-through, and the nice, big, beautiful Art Deco print there from the artist. So I did check comps for those, and when I would, when I checked comps two weeks ago, they were good, um, especially for a Forever 21 tee. And because this was XL, I figured I'd give it a shot and put it up there. It's less than a dollar. Why not give it a try? That's one of my favorite things about going to the pins is that's when you can try interesting things and sometimes we can find really good stuff. Y'all know how much I love selling vintage. So this is peak 90s, like early 90s. So this is City Girl Sport and it is made in the USA. This is a boxy fit size large. I feel like someone could wear this with like a pair of high rise uh, slacks. Uh, or a pair of high-rise jeans and some like sparkly shoes for New Year's. But I picked this up because again, it's like less than a dollar and I love selling vintage and that's very kind of on trend for right now. And then I have a Tahari piece. Oh, I actually have two Tahari pieces, I'm sorry. I almost lied there, I almost forgot. So this is a lovely uh, Tahari linen piece. I've had great luck selling 100% linen Tahari pieces. This is a size large. It is a log and look like dolman sleeve type thing. It's just kind of supposed to be loose and drapey, very like octogenarian art teacher vibe, <laughs> but like cute. And it's gray and you guys know how much I love linen and gray things. And the reason why I forgot that I'd gotten two Tahari pieces is because one of them is medium and I put it in my closet. <laughs> I did list it though, but I also put it in my closet. This is a, that's a large, this is a medium. This is a less log and look, it's more fitted. This has an asymmetrical uh, button back and it is a mint pastel color. So that's why it went directly into my closet to wear until it sells. <laughs> but yeah, so I also got that at the spin strip. And then the last piece I'm gonna share with you guys, cause you know, I don't really share my books on the channel cause it would just be too long. Cause I literally come out of the, the bins with like two entire grocery bags full of books to resell. But this is pure Jill. 
which is the delineation from J. Jill. This is a size small, but it's supposed to be like an oversized cozy fit. And this beautiful like pink and gray uh, color block scheme with two pockets in the front and one button. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It is super cozy. It drapes really nice as well. So I picked this up as well to sell. You know, it's not big money. I mean, I'm not going to get rich off of this, but this is like pretty much all really good bed and brought bed, yeah, bed and brother. <laughs> Bread and butter. It's so hard to talk when it feels like this. Um, bed and, I'm going to say it again. Bed and brother. We're, okay, you know, it's just going to be bed and brother. Bed and brother Adams. That sounds gross. You know, never mind. I'm not going to say that. It's just good basic stuff to resell and I paid like less than 20 bucks for everything including all the books I picked up which I'm not sharing because this video would be too long but uh, that's what I pick up at the bins again normally somebody else picks it up they put it down I pick it back up take it home with me so thank you guys so much for watching uh, thank you for putting up with my voice and with me and I'll see you in a couple days hopefully not sounding like this Till then, bye. Bye.